So Young Zombie is here! So forgive me for the yelling at the beginning. That's as loud as I get. This is uh, my Young Zombie reveal video. So by now, if you're watching this you and you supported my Kickstarter, you got these comics. I'll share this on the campaign video as well. This is meant to be for my YouTube channel. So if you're here, subscribe and like and check out my comics. But point being is I am so happy that this finally made it to print after many, many years, and hopefully we can be doing some more. I've been talking to a friend who is an artist, who is a very close friend, and who's appeared on this channel about maybe collaborating on future Young Zombie stuff and some comics that we could make. So I'm gonna show you, this is, uh, I'll, I'll just start with the standard version here. Uh, I'll show you the book first, then I'll go through the covers, because the content herein is the same for all of them. But what you see here is the red cover variant. That's the Tales from the Crypt inspired one by my good friend Brian, who um, had time to... He did a version of this many years ago, never finished it. And, um, well, we never finished it, not him. And uh, so I never finished it. <laughs> Don't blame him. And I uh, reached out to him, and he basically was able to redo this for me. And then come to LA Comic Con, where we had that green version that is gone. That one is no more. And so this is the red version of the Tales from the Crypt cover. And you can see inside here we have our front page with the credits and then the comic book throughout. But what's really interesting, again, the back page, this is the same that was on that version, talking about the Paperboy, because this all comes from the world of my novel, which hopefully will be coming soon. And so the idea is that this is the comic book, this version with this cover, by the way, uh, or maybe the Bill Mouse cover, that was maybe a variant cover at the time or something, but this is the version of the cover that would exist within that world, that comic book, this comic book right here, that would look like this. And so what you see here is um, what the Kickstarter did fund, which is super exciting, is you see the original, you know, the, the, the version ver ver matching the cover, I should say. But then there's an original version, which was a six page version that is in the back here. So this version did not exist. Uh, it was printed in part of an anthology comic book I did many years ago. It was originally a short film script that I was gonna make and it never, that never happened. So it was just sort of like the gimmick of this guy wakes up to find out he's a zombie. And you can see how that plays out basically without all of this context of how he actually became a zombie. And this expands that basically to the most of the issue is what this is about. But then it gives a chronology of the history of the project. So you can see where it was originally printed. You can see some original art that I have. You can see the character designs and things. Now the digital version of this is epically long. So there's a whole lot of content I created. I worked so hard on that digital version, but this is all I could print due to the amount of money we raised. And um, it was because these margins are razor thin, thin on these comic books when you're doing it indie and printing yourself. It's it's uh, it's definitely something about passion. And you can see here some of Rick's art and then more uh, the Bill sketch art. And then this connects to the uh, Paperboy that is the first time ever published anywhere an image of the character of the Grimm who will be in uh, the upcoming novel as if again and he's a superhero character that exists within that world so that's what this guy is so that's our first cover and these ones are mine so i can throw them on the ground here is rick's cover now rick streak is a good friend been for a long time i know him from the hive gallery in la he did this cover and um it really pops and when printed it looks great and I'm so happy that I finally got to get his comic in print. It shipped today as I record this. I have no idea when I'm gonna post this, but his uh, shipped to him. So I printed a handful of copies for him, especially so he can have that. And hopefully he'll be back for another superhero project I'm working on. I've been talking to him about that. So hopefully that happens. And then we have the Bill Mouse cover, which is like kind of a dream come true type of project. I was a big Zen Intergalactic Ninja fan. That's why you see that stuff on this channel. I'm working on a big history, other things related to Zen. So a lot of stuff coming up. And so this is the Bill Mouse cover. You can almost imagine that this is the cover that he would have drawn when this comic existed in the 90s in the world of the story, right? So this would have been his cover for that comic in 1994, 1995, whenever. Uh, I don't know what this would have come out. Let's say 1993 uh, for this comic. Um, and then the best of all, well, let me show you one other thing first. So here is the sketch version, which Penny uh, has, there were five of these ordered, so she has done a couple of them. These are the only ones that are not shipped. Everything else is sent out to you. Two of these were sent, but the rest are a little bit low, because I, I want it to not be a job for her and just something fun, so I'm not pressuring her. It's whenever she wants to do them, she'll do them. So hopefully in the next week or two, she can get to the last three of these. Two have been done and sent. 
these three need to be done. So this is what the sketch cover looks like without it. So it's just fun to share that. So Penny has done two of those and hopefully soon she'll be doing, I'll cut some pictures of what she's done. She'll be doing uh, three more for those of you who ordered it. And finally though, Penny's print cover, which is just amazing and it looks awesome. She did such a good job on this. I'm so proud of her. You can see Penny edition. Um, I got to collaborate with my daughter on a project, in a creative project. and. This was all spur of the moment. I decided to make this and revive a project and get back into writing actively and, you know, hopefully promoting my novel. And I'm glad that it's, a, it's an emotional thing to get to do this because it, the project has a, you know, more than the two pages that's in here, it's got a long history of struggle and it's out there thanks to everyone who backed it. And uh, I'll say this, I printed, thanks to the backers, I was able to print a few extra copies. So if you are interested in purchasing them, I have extras of everything you see here. But that'll be all that's printed unless I do another Kickstarter run or I do some kind of like um, compilation or something down the line. But this will be it for this print run of these four covers. And what you see is kind of what you get. I have less than 10 of each left. I don't even know the exact number, but it kind of fluctuates based on what was ordered. This is a very popular cover. So I have like seven of these left maybe and i don't even know if that counts my, mine but you can still purchase them so message me i gotta figure out like a storefront or something i don't even know maybe i'll just post it on my etsy shop but if you're interested you can still purchase these but i want to say thank you to everyone who did support it thank you to anyone who supports this channel be sure to like subscribe and comment which is your favorite cover and are you looking forward to my next project set in this world and hopefully that novel soon thank you guys bye